Alright, so if everyone's ready, I will get this under the go. There we go. First map of the best R3 is on Cafe. So this is the the game from the two losers from the first group uh, games. They lost to um, it was two 0 for both of them from Flex and Entity. We both know our two great teams, but I know for a fact these two teams here are going to be great, and it's going to be a very good game. Hopefully, if everyone is not asking for a rehost already. Alright, well, everyone picked the wrong sides, so it looks like we're going to have to start again. Okay, so let's look at what will come up against her. I played this guy in ranked before, he is a pretty decent player.
Right, I'm gonna double check because these guys are saying I did it wrong, and I'm pretty sure that they're just retarded. Yep, there we go, everything is. Alright, hopefully no interruptions this time. Get a Montine being out, nothing from the uh, usual there. It is very good. Operator to ban. Not so on top floor, I would say more downstairs. I mean, it is useful on every side. C4 is below on the Montine. It's one of his uh, greatest downfalls in playing on a top floor site. Again, an ace band as well. Obviously, with his fragging capability as well as his hard breach, that's a great band to get rid of. Of course, you can chuck his things from distance as well. And they're quicker than their partners as well to get rid of. Uh, to explode. And Valk band as well. Not a surprise there, really. All those outside cams getting pressure onto windows and cigar. And uh, C4's below as well, yet again. So we might be seeing a pulse being played here for Intel, maybe some maestros. But we'll see where they're going first. So a kitchen service hold, it looks like. Being the castle straight out, maybe the sick pick onto Diego. I think they they did that wrong there. Stick in the calf there. What a way to kick off the game by bringing out a calf. She's a rare offer. I'm surprised no one's going to Chanka to be fit. Oh, there we go. Oh, and to Diego. It's a pretty standard hold here. A uh, line up here, Attackers bringing the jackal in. This is very useful for the room clear. Get a suppressor onto the cave. I think that's a suppressor. Wire is deployed. Uh, they're reinforcing these two walls here. I don't know if anyone knows that about the rotate you can put here. Hold the closet here. Get a barricade over there. I've been up at that barricade there anyway, the castle. Tackle needs to 
10 seconds left before insertion. Five seconds Three remaining. stand hold, I guess, not making something too fancy just in case. Attackers must they don't know what they're coming up against. Usually reinforce this wall here, but still that is there, cool. Start things here, everyone going upstairs. This might be a five man clear here, and the hard breach draining as per usual. Oh, they're taking a very quick here, actually. I don't think the cav knows what's about to happen. I don't know if they know that, that she's there, though. So, this could be a good, good couple picks from the cav here if she gets away with this. Okay, they've completely avoided it. <laughs> this might be a mistake coming out from Athena. Obviously, we'll see they've gone straight to the vehicle. No wasting time here. The Jackal. Just giving some tools for his team what to do. Trying to get some footprints Attackers there. Obviously, see, that's the castle. So it's just got the... <laughs> now he knows he's upstairs. That, that was good timing. That, that has completely ruined his push. Rethink what he's going to do. Barn again, the hatch there. It's the cab is still, still not We're being drawn out door. here. She's very patient as well. Let's see if she's in there. Ah! Castle, great pick there. The first pick of the game for G got booted onto the ash. Two FBI operators there. Castle, the least favored guy, is the one to get the favor. It was 1.5 holding a lovely Not in there. The Jackal is not getting picks for the Cavs and the Jaeger is as well. This is good stuff. 5v2. So we get into the last 50 seconds. Two hard breaches here. So no Thermite's gun can get all those picks. A Barnum's gun is just insane. Which really beats every gun on the fence and what a pick onto the Jaeger. Free fire. Okay, takes a bit of damage there, not too much. Great pick from the Abana, using the fragging capability there. Bearing 9 might be C4. Oh, that was very close. She nearly got that. How much she dropped hatch there. Oh, this is close. 15 seconds left. Great pick from the Cade. What a great start to the game, getting a 1v1. It's great angles hold from the Cade. Very patient there, just to. Uh, Hold that doorway. Getting calls from the castle just in case it came from the windows. Obviously, make a quick change if that happened. It's gonna be a bar and cocktail hold this time. Bringing out the black beard. Been seeing him a lot recently. See, with that shield, he creates a massive pain to everyone. Sick pick in the warden. Gonna stick it to the maestro. It's very popular in this map. Obviously, you can get some great angles on uh, heaven covering New Balk and pretty much the entire site of Bar. Obviously, you need to put some ADS Defenders there because that, that will just get destroyed. Otherwise, from the ash of the Sapphire that is on board, it brought a Capital. Not overly sure if that was a six, but. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. Uh, so it doesn't look like they're doing a. They're probably gonna do a bathroom hold. Yep, they're doing a bathroom yeah, hold. Probably, I, they haven't got a deployable shield, but here, uh, no, that's a very good Five hold there. Remaining. She's gonna be holding it just with her own whip. Attackers are moving to the pre firing the around corners on the windows. Line of fire. Checking all of the uh, 
Spawn peaks there, so no one gets a lucky pick onto one of their most valuable players. It's a nice route here there, a vault. So you can't get a good... If they take Cigar, you can't get a, um, a, a really good peek here. And, uh, walk in, like, pre-fire around there. Sort of thing. You have to vault soon. You can obviously kill them from the cocktail. Yeah. Um, I was yeah, I was talking to my mate earlier, and he, he wants to put the rotation here. And, uh, I play, play with my team, and... Uh, what I explained was it's actually a pretty good hold to be fair because you can, um, if you lose that then they can't get that this peak here which you can peak here which is the case you default here what a good pick from the legion though onto the skylight it's insane oh my god in the wall there it's my very good quick, quick take of the cigar the Maestro is holding now of the older. It's 91 bullets. I don't know if he knows the drone's there, but they do know he is there. That might be a pre-fire, but the Fermite is doing bits here. The Urbana and the Maestro about the clash. Back there. It's a very good call there. Here's someone in white. That is Vigil. They've taken Cigar here. And that's been very cautious there. As the Barner is getting very... Very close to getting headshots into Legion, but Vigil has got a good position here. He might get a late pick into the round by swinging into Cocktail. We will see if the Urbana gets distracted or not. But the Kager getting a pick and running it back with his life because the Urbana could not be finishing that. Very close call for the Jaeger there. The Fermi is picking. The dagger's dropped the diffuser. Picking an angle on the Jaeger. It's just dumping loads onto these players' heads. Obviously, just pre firing corners. Down in the Abana there, what a pick from the Maestro as well. So we get 2 0 from the Feathers. That's a great pick for the Dow, though, obviously, you don't have to stop firing with that with the recoil control coming out from there as well. For the 9 to 1 bullets, you're not really going to be able to do anything about that, especially from range. There's going to be a reading hold castle coming out again. He is the most popular operator on this map, actually, with all the holds you can do. The mirror coming out as well, very fancy stuff. See if they do anything fancy upstairs with the mirror, if they would just do a closet a laundry hold with the mirror, probably. Probably be more of a reasonable thing. Maybe put one upstairs in bar in cocktail as well and get a little bit of a peak angle across through bar and cigar door. Maybe open up those angles. The soft walls and uh, cigar and get Attackers a need nice to peek and as many bombs as cocktail they can. bar and cigar. Let's see what they're thinking. Needles in position. No champion charm there, of course. He's a very high ranked player. So it's basically pretty going on there. Just so there isn't actually a pretty on Xbox, so this is pretty much the best you get, really. Yep, there we go. They are doing a mirror hold up here. It's good stuff to see what they open up here. Obviously, you want to be reinforcing all of these. You can reinforce um, these two walls as well to get a nice angle here, and that's exactly what they're doing. Attackers are moving to defuse a bomb. Sometimes uh, castle off the white window, one of the stairs there. That's, yep, that's what they're doing. They cast it off one of the cocktail windows as well. And obviously this double window here, which is very essential for your hold. So it, w it wastes time putting people up here, and it wastes utility as well. That's the most important thing when you need to be getting rid of the Jaegers to burn the ADSs and get the essential kills and nades. So the sledge, bring it out. Bringing out the kills there as he's got two picks already onto the view and the castle. The Jaeger is getting rid of those grenades there and there's no use for the sledge anymore as he is now dead. No soft destruction above. I think they're just going to have to go straight for a sight, which it looks like they are doing now actually. Depends if they are playing vertical themselves on the fence because obviously that needs to be an essential thing is that they abuse the vertical as much as the attackers want to do so they can't just run in and take sight. 
it looks like that's what they're going to be trying now. But then you have two people <laughs> from upstairs in heaven, I think that was. Good <laughs> pick from the mirror. I've not seen that before. That's great stuff. The lesion is very, very patient. Yep. What a pick. He's asking for more, but they are is holding an angle when she headshots him. There's now a 1v2. The mirror holding an angle. I think she knows she's there. What a pick. 1v1. She knows she's there. This could be a wall bang of a century, but more where he is. He does push. Too far through the wall. That's all it takes. Careful. Ooh. Great pick from the 1v3 clutch for the Abana and the 3k overall for her. She's just walking away with that 21 magged gun. Diamond skin and the bolo charm. She's flexing out. Kitchen service hold we're going on to now. I don't think they're going to be going too fancy on the strats. Maybe carrying what they did last time. I think that's that's um, exactly what Dark Zero do. Because obviously it's very safe and if you're winning, you may as well keep using the strats. As long as you keep winning. I mean, if you start losing, then you got to fix it up a little bit. But may as well not do anything too fancy just in case it goes wrong. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Reloading! It'll stick in the lock. Deploying ADS. There's not Dark Zero, sorry, it's a European team actually. I think it, I think it might be E United. Uh. Yep, it's gonna be a standard hold here. The bakery extension. Maybe to rotate, maybe a vault rotate, even if it's something fancy. There we go. That vault is just a massive rotate. Which, um, my team I play with, we don't really like doing a massive hold. It's uh, the smaller thing, Attackers someone can't really swing you that way. Just in case they get small prep. But they're obviously not planning Defender on getting that done. I don't know if that was Army done with Max. time. I I'm pretty sure you have to wait a few seconds there. But it was maybe different in this league. Might just be when someone dies, that's be a good couple of seconds. But as that van used to not be there, and that used to be a very good spawn peak. Because when people spawn just right on that candy cane, at the very end, the start corner, you just run out and dive in like two seconds. Well, it looks like he's going to one punch this. So obviously, you have to punch 11 times, and then you can. Then you can just. Uh, Punch it. I, I, I'm not overly sure if you can bolt into it, but you can. You can one punch it and then it's destroyed. And obviously, your defenders might not know that. They might even use utility for that, but of course, you can push in there and perhaps get a kill. Rather than realizing <laughs> what a pick. No idea was there. He pre fired it. I get pick, obviously, she's doing very well here. 5 to 2 right now from the Abana. Sledge play in those vertical holes. There is a guy underneath the C4s, that's why he needs to be careful because obviously he is moving back every time he opens it, just so he can't get C4s. Very, very smart from the sledge though. He's opening, opening a lot, making use of that sledgehammer. He does have loads of. 20 before it, before it breaks. I think it's important. Very quiet. There's loads of holes here. No one's actually playing on them. I think they're going for a site execute. Of course, it's a minute left, so they do have time to pinch this guy out. He might be getting a pick before he goes. <laughs> what, a, what a pick there. For an illusion. I thought he, thought he got killed on that pistol in the sledge there, but no. Jaeger got picked off from the sludge. Not even worried about that vertical hold. Of course, Castle can now 
push up. I think when he gets intel on that being free, but obviously he is holding red. Very important place to hold, especially when Sledge is pushing through here. Pre-fire that. It's got him. Taking sight though. 3v1, 2v1. He's planting in the Nomad. What a f Oh, it's the Habana again. Jesus Christ. This man is on fire. Giving a damn about having 21 bullets here, just making them to work. Of course, it's one of those powerful guns in the game. Obviously, not by damage per second, but she's using that gun. The feel of that gun is just insane. If it's not a headshot, it's just a win. No matter what you use with that gun, barely anything wins against a Barden's gun. So the bar cocktail hold, the pulse has been brought out. Not six foot, unfortunately. So they will be trying to clear out that room unless he plays upstairs and goes down later on in sight. But obviously, he'll be missing out. The team will be missing out on a bunch of intel he'll be able to get from going in down cigar and potential kills during the round. But obviously, late round, during the plant might be more essential. Being diffused by attackers. We might need him on site. We'll see what they're thinking. Everyone with their champion charms out. Oh, a that's a nice skin band it's got there. I actually see that skin at all. AD is active in this sector. Some wood. Razor wire going up. So I think I'm gonna be doing the same hold. They're sticking to it, they're winning at it, they're losing at it. Don't wanna be making it too difficult. Reinforcing the wall! Five seconds left. Well, obviously everyone's got lives of side of this game, which is Attackers must a very big playmaker in hell. This might be a bit cheeky from the pulse here. I don't think anyone has spawned here. The firm might have, but he's, he's not even worried. The sludge even. He makes up. He might get run out here if he's not careful. He's got the fuser as well. This could be. That wall, of course, it is a waste of utility putting them on the wall. I mean, they do have to get it, which can pressure them onto the window, but essentially, it is not Attackers have located a bomb. No man does not want to be viewed there, uh, Jesus Christ. So, cigar wall has been opened in a minute of the round, so it's pretty good the timing, I suppose. And it is just holding an angle. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. Swing it. Of course, of course, there's two of them now, and he might get picked through that. Put it far from the Nomad. Of course, headshot at two now. She's getting the two K. She is gassed. Attackers have dropped the bomb. Their partner has downed the Legion. <laughs> they have, they've just taken sight in full force. They don't even give a damn anymore a there. Who <laughs> going for this kill? It's just 5v1, but Pulse is just sitting downstairs holding an angle. If he gets the C4 pick, that would be tremendous, but I don't think he's activating the focusing on that as he is just holding an angle in the train. Right now, he is pushing up white, though. That's a fear. There's Free fire up. Great stuff. 3 2 now. As this was going towards the favor of Fina and now Apollo showing what they've really got and they are they're fighting back with full force they're winning now as it comes to the last round of the fence being picked out by noticed here. I did notice that my friend. There's no sick fix going on as we go to a bar another bar hold. 
Virtual might be going really aggressive onto the runouts, maybe from Bakery, maybe on the windows where we will see what's going on. The sledge does not have the diffuser and he will be on that repel again. Defenders, course, protect your bombs from being bandits. by attackers. Well, well, hopefully the, for the Vigil's sake that he gets a kill if he does runouts, but for the sledge, the, uh, it's not to worry about anybody. With some Luzi coming out here, a very effective operator, Grinto and kind of denial. So, for the slowness of the operators, it can be very effective. You know, Gumball, when they're swinging, they're very slow, they can't be doing any button pressing at all or analog moving at any speed whatsoever. So, of course, it is a very good, effective thing for the Luzi. And it's bulletproof as well, so you only can destroy it by punching it or by. Chucking utility, which are heading out to the bomb. which can get you killed if you if you punch it, but we'll see how how this gets up. The losing is gonna be holding quite. They're obviously gonna be spawn peeking now. They they are free to down. They need to be getting the quick picks, but they don't get any luck. They have no idea where they are spawning, which maybe maybe it would have been a good idea if they checked cams before just. Just so they knew, had a rough idea of where they actually need to be looking. Luzi here playing a pillars, which is obviously good for new bulk drop. We can get a nice pick. The bandit though, already getting a pick onto the window on the sledge as well. <laughs> so it's not done by the vigil, it's done by a peak from the bandit. The Jaeger's been very patient. Do not fish him out there. He keeps moving, they'll get in town. They're fully aware, but I don't think stealth was his option here. That that angle above, I don't think he's aware of that. He's not getting close, so he must be a bit aware. Man, we pick it. A missed opportunity there from the Nomad. What happened there? The Malusi getting out of her life there. Very, very lucky indeed. The Yiga might get picked. I don't know which window she's on though. There's two on the windows. <laughs> He's getting pinched on windows. <laughs> okay. No, I hear Barna getting clapped by the vigil there. The vigil was just playing in sight. I'm not overly sure what his plan was here, but maybe a change of plan. That's maybe that's what what's happened here. <laughs> yeah, he could do run outs now. He's getting confident. Defender exposed. Now he's stuck outside. Been a hold on angle pre fire. Defender Did not work out for him. Now he is down, but the vigil's ran out and he's been clapped. By the <laughs> oh, go back to a 2v3 now as the Sephir has changed the outcome of this round potentially. The Fermite, which he did, dropped. and that's a 3v1. This is going to have to be an ace and a 3v1 clutch from the Sephir, which she goes to the roof to get a bit of a rethink of what she's going to be doing. The war has not been opened up. It's going to be the outcome has just been told different as the peaks, the entryways has only been minimalized by the Malusi there for killing that Fermite. She, she, she just jumped in. She doesn't even give a damn, but she has been whiffing that aim. She just gets clapped by the lesion there. cocktail hold. It's gonna be the first site for Apollo. Got the teams right here. The sixth pick onto the Fatch and the Fatch has been in play the entire time I'm surprised. Surprise the defenders and the attackers defenders, last, protect your bombs last being round. We're not using that. Laying out the welcome mat. So Apollo started on the fence. Yeah, 
there. The teams are into tight time. They are bringing a mirror. A mirror strap. They're going to be holding back, which just looks like they are. To a very nice strat. This is bringing a frost in as well. That frost shotgun. I have, of course, you get to that secondary now, which is the shotgun, which make her utility so much more useful. Her gun, obviously, with a 1.5 as well. Castle with a 1.5. There are some off rays that never really got used for fragging capability because of their fragging capability yeah, that are now being used, which obviously is probably not the main purpose why they're using it. It's probably the deployable shield for Frost, which she has been so, so useful this season. I've been seeing many people use that. That is a miss there from the Zephyr. Castle is going to destroy it straight away. There's no ADS protecting that, that mirror. Given up. They've given up to guard. Oh, shot. Very interesting hold. I think this is all to waste time. Cigar here, but of course the frost showing what her gun is worth. She's she's looking very comfortable in this position here. This is a very nice hold. I'm really I really appreciate this hold coming up from Apollo. It's a five e three. Right, these guys are very confident on the fence. I'm seeing that they have definitely been practicing in what they're going to be doing. And the Ash with the nice pick. She got, she baited the Jaeger there to aiming. She's picked. She's obviously going to get rid of that mirror hold there. She's going to be walking into a battle here. If she, she's not careful, she's going to lose. It's the constant pick and go though. They're going to be getting Cigar Wall open now. The Ash and the Goyu are going to be... <laughs> the patience coming up with the Goyu. And the, he is... She's not aware he's there anymore. Very, very calm. Reload. She is about to die. But who is going to die? The Goyu or the Ash? <laughs> he's running away! But he's... He is very low on HP. He's half HP. <laughs> He's just playing <laughs> catch and mouse here. He's just... no. Attackers have located a bomb. No, she's not going to lose that. She did. Headshots. It is. Nah, she's very happy with that one. It's Castle Ash, the two FBI operatives, the friends. She's been called out at the pre-fire, and she's got in the castle. Now a 2v2. 2v1. 15 seconds remaining. It's a freezer hold. This might be just covering the rotation here for Ash. The Frost is aware of what's going on. <laughs> she's killed the diffuser. No, she just has to hide. But she's just done it with the clutch. The 1v2. With the Frost. Is that a 3k as well coming out from that gun? <laughs> oh, you gotta love a Frost. Being played and getting kills. No traps being used there. Uh... <laughs> it's crazy stuff. The, the Chanka, come on. We need to see the Chanka come out. His rework has just been out, just been released. You need to be getting this on the board. I don't think they'll be doing it. It's obviously a serious game. So, reading. A fireplace, Ooh, you never really see this on league get matches. So of course, this can be a very dead site with that window and the wall. There's so many plants you can get into mining, and all the vertical angles you can get is just ridiculous. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Of course, it's made the reading more popular than the fire. The mining. Very interesting to see what they're going to be doing with the mirror. I think upstairs hold. There is going to be what's going on. There is maybe a cocktail. There's. This is, of course. Of course, just great stuff they're actually doing here. It's very nice to be seeing these strats that they hold. This is something I, I did ages ago and it never really came through into an actual strat. 
great teamwork that's going on here. Great idea has been played. 1.5, of course, in a diamond skin. And a mirror. Maybe she's even going to put a mirror here. That would be very good. This is a uh, G2 called her. They are as well. Really Open up these walls potentially as well. If they really want to. Rotate the, the castle. It would be good to see what they're casting. They are making an extension. Yeah, yeah, of course, the peak holes. It's great stuff. It's great stuff for Apollo. It's a little shout out to Elliot there. He is obviously playing. I'm not even sure what game attack he is, but I'm sure he's doing you proud, my boy. So this is gonna delay him a lot of time with this hole. It's coming out. Bringing the BB. Attackers dropped the diffuser. Very calm. Attackers recovered the diffuser. Very patient, passive hold from the defense there. So obviously you don't want to be you losing those angles from behind those mirrors. But that is a very essential place to hold in these sites. Attackers have dropped the bomb diffuser. Very narrow miss, but that's a great pick. The diffuser is down now, and this is suddenly crumbling down. Attackers have Onto recovered the their diffuser. feet here. That's <laughs> the sledge. The Thatcher has been getting much better than the runner. He has a 20, uh, below that, about 15 HP. The Blackbeard is punching his way into sight. Jackal getting picked. That insane gun. Ah, it's a 3v1 now. Here's a BB though. You do not want to be over peeking this from a long range at all, which we'll be seeing what the castle is going to be doing. If he wants to peek, he will most likely get headshot. But he wants to peek and he will get the kill. The sofa, the chair will get that. Would mask what he's doing there, and he would not be able to see the castle wide swinging that. Great stuff. It was not a wide swing, that was just a nice peak there for the castle. Well, obviously, he did what he got to do to get that kill, and it's now a 5 3 to Apollo. Are we going to be seeing a 7 3? Or are we going to be seeing a very, very good game going here and going to OT? So a kitchen hold. It's gonna be coming out. It's gonna be very interesting to see what strat they're gonna be doing here. Of course, it's the first time they've been down here. If you hold, I don't, I don't think they'll be doing anything too fancy. Maybe Defenders a little room. Your bombs from being room upstairs from the alibi. Playing some vertical holes, maybe above prep. And they're casting off that door, which is obviously essential for the long angles. Come in Was he coming out here? Not putting down his his pest yet. It obviously it must just be for tonight during the round. Not to collect drones. Post round up uh, forward round. Yep, upstairs hold it is. Coming up from the muzzy up the uh, vertical angles as well. Attackers are heading out to the they're bringing out. There's no doubt helping them out a lot to waste time and to get out picks as it turns out. I think it is the Mozzie and the Jaeger's going to be backing up the Mozzie as he's playing these holes up here. Because there's not actually been a prep hole yet. As of such, it goes right here where my cursor is here. Obviously, cover prep. Maybe we're going to be asking that for the castle. Now the Jacko is taking it, Crouch walking in, the Blackbeard has been brought out again. They're going to get prep all very nice and quick here. Of course, not wasting much time. They're getting these, these starting walls within the first minute, which is obviously very needed. They might get pecked off from the top of the window there. I think it's aware that he's holding that now. Maybe Blackbeard could be holding that. That could be a great idea. Ash is going to try and get some picks here. Just 
on her own. Not even accompanied by the Jack, who is obviously a good room clear himself. <laughs> she is being very stealthed here. I'm, they are definitely not aware that she is up here. She's probably going to get a good pick onto Mozzie, but there is obviously two of them. One for the refrag, just in case so and so happen. <laughs> She's being very patient there. It's been very, very interesting to see what's actually going to plan out because now she is in a crossfire. She may definitely not get a refrag. Mozzie might have turned it. He has. He's going to get a pick onto her. <laughs> Crouch walking. The stealth until the very end. Uh, the, the Blackbeard's going to get picked off here as I cannot go to point of views. The Mozzie is going to be pushing down the red. He's going to be challenging that. There's not a group team, so he's not got any chance. He can just hold the red, though, which he's not going to be doing. The Jaeger is going to be taking control of that red to fall back into sight. So they do have all. They do actually have sight control. I have missed this all here. They're, they're relying on the verticals. Adabai being very patient there in that corner. He's lied down. She is obviously going to be aware of that, and he has no idea she is there. This could be very good for Adabai. Of course, all he needs to do is hold that angle. He wants to make down. He is planting now. The Alibi. The Alibi getting picked off. God, oh, the Jaeger is on side. What's going on here? It's, it's a 1v2. Now for the, the mozzie, all he has to do is run in and, and kill the... No, he did not realise, no! Unfortunate for the mozzie, but that's a great pick from this Thatcher, bringing them back into the round as it is now a 5-4. Uh, the black eyes as well. Of course, if he got some intel that mozzie, he would have no doubt have killed that jackal as he was very clear from that hole from the soft wall there, that was in the middle of the sights. Bar cocktail hold it is again, of course, it has been three rounds and now they can go back there, bringing out a guy with all the shields and the now that's going to be having to go, that could be a very time wasting thing and utility burning from the attackers, of course uh, everyone's probably bringing flashes, I would imagine. So I wonder if they'll be um, if they'll be holding cigar again, or if they'll be uh, just giving it free to waste time. So we're doing the same hold here. This is strat worked very well. It actually came to a one v one, not as well as I'm saying, but hopefully they are gonna fix it. This round, this this castle is. It is a nice thing, but it does just get destroyed by this barricade here. I mean, utility, isn't it? Utility and time. That is the main important thing. Mirror is time in itself. They're not even using it, they are just using it for time. They might actually be using it this round. Of course, they do have a retail there. Seeing what the Jaeger was thinking now with reinforcing that. Of course, they take this control, they get that down. They won't be able to then go in here, which I say more time. Droning out and realizing what. Enjoy the view. Match it. Reloading. Of course, we we might be seeing Ash go into that window in a second to get rid of the castle. Maybe they have done it right. Maybe the idea that came from the mirror was actually the right idea. Tango located. Third floor. EMP incoming. Of course, with the factors, you can actually just get an IQ and cool out the, in, uh, the intel above the roof, and then you can factor it. But of course, it doesn't destroy any uh, utility anymore. Factor, great pick onto the guy. Not aware of factor being on that window. He's going to be holding that now just for the routine. Jaeger, Jaeger's gonna fall to the mirror, perhaps, maybe, and it's gonna be holding white. Three firing corners. Just to get that guy who showed the. It's 
been a cigar new balcony from the black wheel of course if anyone peeks that more than likely to get a kill So the trouble with Blackbeard Shield is that it's so big that people can see it without you being able to see them and they can destroy it and then ooh, all of a sudden you're shitting yourself. And you can just get a headshot just like that. But this has been a very passive hold. The Legion is down. I'm not even sure if they're aware of that. They are flashbanging and now they're obviously in daytime as they get some control. To got a free kill with that. It's not it was through a wall. They are just taken side. They have heavily just done it. We're in five seconds in a flawless round. Coming out here from Athena. From Apollo, sorry. This is brilliant stuff. As we go to a 5-5, they have really brought this back. This could be a full round win in a row for Apollo here. But we will see what happens here as they go back to bar. See if they can fix their mistakes that they did last time. It's been a great game so far. There's a lot of picks going on. No one really getting carried at all by anyone. Everyone's getting a nice amount of kills. It's obviously a few people are negative, which has to be happening in a round like this big. And the sixth pick onto the clash from the alibi. <laughs> they may not be knowing what's about to happen, and they really do want this win, don't they? Athena will be seeing what is going to be coming from the clash here. She might be holding cigar or she might just be playing passive in bar perhaps but the skylight obviously is going to be a very big choke point for the clash. So I reckon cigar is probably going to be the most reliable place, the most efficient place for her to be able to do anything this round. The castle bringing out, it's been brought out every single round from every team. Both teams. They're reinforcing it now, very good stuff. They're going to be losing that. Of course, they've just been losing picks each time that's been open. It was a clutch on the first time, and it was a pick here onto the mirror from the Jackal here. Long angle, killing his Italian operator. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. Finding those drones, which is the most, pretty much one of the most essential things of this game, is destroying drones, getting rid of that intel for the attackers, which obviously they have to be droning out to be able to get a little bit of a hindsight into what's going to be going on, what, what they need to be doing. Jackal, of course, on that white window, he is being enjoying that window. It's, it's like his blood brother there. Baiting out kills and trying to get kills. They're going to be getting rid of this castle this time, though. So, of course. On, Can't even get to this ash. So they've got the Clash playing in Cigar, as I said. Because it's going to be a massive pain in the ass for them to try and clear out. They are going to be. Attacking on this one, he's going to be getting the bandits himself. So I suppose if they they haven't even yeah they're just going to try pick him, maybe get a pinch someone onto this one as well. But she is very wary of that, of course, hugging that back wall there. <laughs> she is not having any of that. There's so much time. Not even this wall has been open. I checked the time. It has been at one minute and fifteen seconds. That has been <laughs> time wasted. They're trying to pinch her, but she is not having any of it. She has taken a bit of damage that they have entered. With her whereabouts, of course, the castle is holding her back. <laughs> She's doing damage. They just, they just can't do anything. They need nades or something to Thatcher as well. What a pick! Onto the Thatcher there from the mute, from the long angle, from the mirror back in bar. Top white. The entrance, cocktail entrance for that. <laughs> The castle, of course, the clash has just been gifted things there from the mute as they will not be able to patch that and get rid of her electricity. So she's got her in full use. She's going to be doing full damage. The Burma is not being happy. It's a 5v3. It's looking like a no brainer for Team Apollo as they. A team of as they may be edging to a six match point. Fire's coming up on the Thatcher. Oh, great stuff from the. 
the Jaeger <laughs> as it comes to a it's that 5v 4v1 Jackal being abused here by the by the clash seconds remaining oh what a pick what a pick by the Jackal Ten there you hit and miss you, you it looks like you only hit heads but the mute what a great hold there from the mute Get a pick, get swiftly into that corner there to get the corner. Headshot. With the G2 skin, that's good stuff. Was he left for the rehost? I assume. <sighs> They're asking for a rehost. Well, they haven't left. Um, it's returned. Let's see what offer he's got. He's gone. <laughs> he's gonna have to get killed as well because he has got an offer here that is not allowed to be played. <laughs> that is very unfortunate. <laughs> oh, they're all leaving now. They're calling for a rehearse because he's got the wrong offer here. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Okay, this is 6 5 to two. Two. Yep, so it's a rehost that is going on here. This course is 6 5 to Athena. Find someone. Okay, bear with me guys, I'm just inviting a couple of the players so they can go and invite the rest of their team. I hope you guys are enjoying what I what you are seeing here. I am definitely enjoying it here. I hope you guys are enjoying my casting as well. Of course I'm still pretty new to it. Getting used to the bearings, but it's, it's still fun. Of course, you can trial into the Discord. I don't know if anyone's part of the Discord so far, but if you want to be doing what I'm doing, you can be doing it. Uh, that's single casting, which obviously is a bit harder than duo casting, but it's still it's got to start somewhere, haven't you, I suppose? It depends where everyone's ambitions are. That's what I'm going to have to add. Map history. Choose bounce. Uh, Monty. Sure, it's just skins. <laughs> yeah, okay.
Let it navigate. You cocksucker. <sighs> Reset burn, so you didn't know why I bothered picking that. <laughs> clash and Valkyrie's in Clash. Team start on attack as attackers. Oh, I have to add all of this. Oh god. Um. Um. <laughs> So blue blue team are six five. I don't think it actually matters what I do here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so they just one up the put this like here. Alright, I'm just gonna see. Alright, so two, three, four, five, six, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Alright. Shut down. <laughs> Thank you for being very patient. Shout out to Nath and uh, Kieran, if you guys are still there. <laughs> and I think everyone is ready. So off we go. I'm hoping I've done everything right. Praise the Lord. <laughs> this can be very old. I think I've done it wrong. No, no, I've done it right. Nice. Okay. So here we go. Back in we are. Yep, still on first map. So 
to sick pick onto the clash again. We might be seeing some master class stuff coming from Davin or Davin. I'm gonna see Atkins from now on. <laughs> To go into the way, it's gonna be a reading room and fireplace hall hold, which uh, they haven't brought a castle, which can be very interesting to see what hold they're gonna be planning on doing. They might have mistaken that or it's done on purpose. I didn't actually get defenders protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. A note on who's got what kills. So I'm pretty sure going up. It's been a very good game, anyway. Nice. Home time. Yep, so there's going to be a cocktail hold here. Get too close to the wall there, he's going to have to be doing that bit off. They're not going to be bringing the castle, which I guess they're just going to be really aggressive on the here with the clash. And the mirror, of course they've got the mirror. It's been very fought through, it's definitely not a mistake not bringing the mirror. Free ADS is putting on this mirror here. Oh, the way they're up against the intel. Drop just in case they get a bit close. Crouch walking, maybe a bit stealth up there with a gun bow and someone's crouch walking up. Trying to get an angle here, crouch walking here. Maybe crouch walking around there, someone's shooting here. So of course they're in a gun bow, they wouldn't be able to hear or anything. But Barbed wire has obviously stopped that. Bomb located by attackers. Imagine the rush through this window here at the plant straight away. This would be class. But the twitch is pushing up. Pushing up very strong. Can't actually get onto this player. There we go. We've got smoke. Hey, pass it back. Well, of course, he's got that shotgun, which is obviously going to be completely dominant gun to use on those staircases. It'd be a one shot pretty much every time. Obviously I'm just gonna be unlucky and get an angle on the shoulder perhaps. Maybe even that probably from that range they're gonna be a clash. Of course they're gonna be a bit angry with what she's doing there. Holding Lango is just a one V one with the farmer and the clash. <laughs> but <it's laughs> they are not happy. <laughs> The Jackal of the first pick, though, of the rehost. And oh, that was very close. The Spider Manning down the window as he goes to make out with Mary Jane. He's holding that angle, which, of course, gets a, a peek all the way across into the cigar door. Reading, there is a. Not a mirror there, which is very interesting. They're going to be doing an upstairs hold of both the mirrors, and they're getting the fireplace. I don't think they're aware of this. I think with that thermite charge, it, they are aware of it now. I've been a sticking to that vertical hold, which obviously seeing this game to full extent here because they do not have train under control from upstairs. Just the clash is obviously bringing loads of denial with that drone hole peak there from the thermite. Just narrowly missing the feet there of the clash. It was a still full HP which could be very... This is a great take here from, from Apollo. They're not even worried about it. Uh, they're just taking it down which of course the twitch is just picked off the Jaeger there. <laughs> the clash is falling back a bit. Oh, the, the twitch to the bits. She just doesn't even give a damn. But the the mirror is pushing back the twitch. Making her 1v4 in the Fermite. The Blackbeard, even as she gets pinched. In reading there by three of them. The twitch obviously coming through the rotate in laundry. The Fermite coming from the rotate in fire. And the Blackbeard on the Preacher obviously got the pick. What a great round. It is OT. Mm. Very close game, a very good game as well. I'm going to see a bar and cocktail hold coming from defenders. Bring out the Abana, of course, he is being in picks left, right, and center with that gun he is using. I 
seeing what hole they're doing. Everyone's just Attackers not. Need to no one's bringing the castle now. I have jinxed can. what I said. Then bringing the castle, they have all had a sudden change of mind. Getting the commando out obviously has a lower fire rate than that really, but does have a more of a bag and has obviously that like cooler reload animation, which obviously is Attackers have located a bomb. mode of choice to be doing. Just for the reload of it, and the vision, of course, he's going to be able to use that gun more efficiently than the Rooney, which the Rooney actually has a 1.5 sight on that, which is just extremely deadly. It's literally just like Legion's gun, which is just that gun is just godly as well. It's, oh, God, the new update, God bless Ubisoft for making it so interesting with the meta. Now, obviously, they're changing. Peck here for the Mozzie. Of, of course she's done some nice narrow avoiding there of that Christmas tree which has probably been put there from that water pick from the muzzy and he's going to be happy with that as he's just made the round very he's just made the round for them a bit more easier getting rid of those rotations from the nomad of course which I cannot be picking any operators now he's prepped runouts as well in these windows just in case that's needed, they have got the hatch here. So the sledge is putting his sledgehammer into work, slamming those wooden barricades down. <laughs> that muzzy's gonna drain. Is she gonna be able to frag that, or is she gonna be good that? Of course, peaking those angles there, which the fenders can hold. Which is <laughs> really good angles, especially. Especially if you've got like a 1.5 scope, we get from his heads on the go. Yeah, all open a bit later than they've usually been getting it, but they are getting it no doubt. A good amount of time is going to be wasting that C4 there. Of course, no idea if he's going to be getting a pick onto the hard breach. Just like, just like it doesn't even matter. But that grenade might be. ADS, that's it. Life is that another pick? <laughs> that's a fear. They're using the gun. That's obviously probably one of the best guns in the game. Not for damage per seconds, but of course, recoil control and just. Just everything about this gun, look at that, she's picking up two people now. Just the Malusi there, Attackers not making any the effect it. because the cigar has already been Attackers given up. Moisha's on his cam, it's been destroyed now. <laughs> the, the 5 HP warrior, but of course she can be downed as long as she only gets shot once and pick herself up and be back on herself, 5 HP. I don't think anyone's going to be bothered with that cigar shop, there's a guy there and Jaeger who's just popped him. Popped off that, that fragger of this round, but obviously she was only 5 HP, so she wasn't even much use anyway. But it's now going to be a 3v2 as Habana, who is on point. The sledge might be doing bits as well, but they are going to have to be thinking of something to be getting off this plant. There is 40 seconds there, and they have all fallen back to close angles, so they're going to have to be taking sight and thinking about default plant. All holding angles into every entrance is being covered here from the defenders. They're going to need a pick before they're going to be able to feel confident into be picking, into be pushing into sight. Of course, that Maestro Cam is still there. That will not be getting destroyed anytime soon. But the Jaeger has just cleared up sight there with the 4K. The 3K even with a 3K. 2K from the Muzzy as well. Corn, Cal, Kane. However, that guy does want to pronounce it. He's going six and zero. Of course, he's probably been wanting to reuse just so he can flex on those stats. Not even dying. And of course, three people on Apollo here going zero kills. But they will be going bar and cocktail for the second round of OT. Let's see if they can bring it back to a to a match point, game point, a map point. They'll be having to do a good hold if <laughs> they're bringing the clash again, and they're going to be wasting a lot of time with that. Hopefully, they'll be able to deal with something this time, Athena. But we will be seeing what's going to be happening. Of course, a lot of times can be wasted again. They haven't got any need to be denying that clash. They do have a Thatcher, of course, to be getting rid of that electricity. Defenders, they're going to be after fragging that. The Sapphire is not even in the play to get her shield up. So they have not really thought about the clash, which I don't know if they just weren't thinking about it. 
about countering her or the, the it's not really too bothered, they're thinking, oh yeah, you know what, we just pinch her. Maybe they will pinch her, maybe they'll get control of Cigar Shop, but she does have the lead to fall back here and he has left the game. This might be another new host. I think his screen's frozen, but I think they're just going to carry on playing. Of course, they are attacking and this is their match point round. It's going to be essential to win. It's going to be very unlucky. I can lose this here. Attack. If they were defending, it wouldn't be too bad. Obviously, they can just play more passive because they're attacking. They attack. The defenders might be thinking about just being more aggressive, but of course, this is a competitive and they will not be thinking that necessarily. There could be no spawn piece going on this round. I should imagine that if one person got picked up here, it'd be a 5v3 within the first. Actually. Yeah, 5v3 within the first 10 seconds, that would be tragic for Athena. White window here, been put to use very well by both teams. Of course, clearing out the person that could be going on to those, those slates there. It's got to be true. Just going to rush site. I think that would be awesome to watch. <laughs> of course, it'd be a bit of a throw. Round. I think the most important thing they could be doing is wasting time just so they know their teammate can be getting back in to play but of course they're not even worried Jackal is clearing up roaming there is no roaming going on whatsoever he will be figuring this out obviously with his foot scanner his print footprint scanner he is playing underneath that is very good play if he does that if he starts playing vertical onto that clash that be... yes. Obviously, he has to be very careful here. The castle is lying down. He is holding an angle, which... He does have a 1.5 scope on, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, actually, he's using a shotgun. The Super Shorty. It only does 30 damage with this range. You can on the ground. You pull him onto the ground and make him injured. Jackal is just holding, being very patient here. But th th see, the castle's pressure here is taking the Jackal. He's <laughs> very weary here, and it is wasting time. In this. <laughs> he does not want to die. He does not want to make it a 5v3. He needs to be doing what he's doing. Well, of course, there's only 40 seconds left. Remember, 40 seconds left, no one has done it. Jacko is pushing up to the castle. There he is. Where? What's going on? This is no picks. Gonna happen. It's the Jacko that wins. Of course, it's the Jacko that wins. They have taken. They have just taken it by control. It's just the end of the round to be happening. But the mute has flanked. It's gonna get two. He, he's gonna not get two because their partner is on point. He's just taken side by force with the Lamira has picked her out. The very nine, obviously being very hard to control. But she is fighting back with force. Here's a two. V2 here, they need Five to get the plant left. down. It's a 1v2, oh, is this the end of the round that we're going to be seeing here? Is it the end of the round? This <laughs> is going to be into a match point. Game point 7 7 OT. What a clutch here from the Jaeger. Of course, Thatcher had no idea where the Jaeger was pushing from, being very patient onto that stand, that table there making any moves. He was on 20 HP. Very, very intelligent about his ways, of what he was doing though, with his health. So, Kane is back in on the Jaeger as well. This is all that's going to be happening for the last round of we'll be seeing what's to come. As we go to a kitchen service hold, Seeing if the defenders will be playing more passive to be getting that win, that map one win. Of course, it's a best out of three, so they'll be only having to win one more, which I think is their map pick next as well. So we'll be seeing what's going on. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Okay, I think they're playing a passive 
Yep, they're playing a passive. This is very um, this is very suitable for the current situation. Be less play pressure for the attackers. It'll be a lot harder to get in there. Of course, there's a Thatcher, and he is not being played. They're going to be relying on the vertical play to be able to get this wall open. That is, even if they get hold of Bakery, they are actually putting a hold here. They're not making a rotation here. So he is on his own, the person in Bakery. He is most likely going to be Jaeger. You want to be putting the guy from his fragging capability into the hardest spots to hold, just so he can hold himself well. Obviously, you're going to be playing for your life here. I don't even think they're... They are not wasting time, this is good stuff. Wasting time and making a pressure point there. Of course, again for a top floor clear. It's pretty much essential here. The sledge is wasting no time there. Dropping straight into red, draining out red, trying to get some control over red, maybe getting control out of closet straight away which of course the castle has been playing over is the castle going to get a lucky pick like he did earlier round though on red stairs maybe he'll push up there I do not think I think they're definitely playing a lot more pass than they were earlier of course it is a really important round you do not want to be losing this round and that they're more than comfortable to start doing vertical now of course you can be start Probably the same holes they've been doing last time, just getting these vertical holds just for when they get the scar wall, just so they can cover the plant and play vertical up there as well. And th I think they're aware of this mozzie here, they went to pinch him, but he, he is fully aware. Like, uh, he's peeking the door. And of course, the castle is going to have to be doing that unless they leave it open, which is possibly a choke point there for the mozzie and the castle who are not going to be able to rotate if someone gets on this long angle here. Of course, most likely has to be a peak. She does not really want a holographic level. She will not be getting any picks. The sledge is down. Their soft destruction is down. I think that was a C4 through the floor there. They, of course, have opened up the entire site. They're going to maybe drop the hatch and get a. Uh, of course, the Cade here. It's not been the first time he's been here and been getting loads of peaks from that drop. That is exactly what they're doing. They're going for a, for a freezer take. Which did not go well last time. The Cade actually pulling out the clutch. Here the vertical holes. The Jaeger barely taking any damage there. But I'm bullets out of shot. Very past the mozzie. It's very low. Picked on the pre fire here, but he does not know he's lying down, and now he will get picked with a quick peek. But the Jaeger is still fired back, and it's a 3v2. A he's planting Mozzie. Nah, it's a 3v2. It's a 2v2. They're gonna have to plant. It's a, oh, it's a, oh, it's a 1v2. I did not even see that sledge being there. They are planting the Mozzie. Five seconds remaining. It's been very, very quiet here. T4. Oh, what a pick! What a pick for Nirvana, and there's map one there, getting clutched up on Nirvana there, being fracking out all round, still proving the capability there with a, a nice flick. Is that a puppet headgear we're going to be seeing for the. Okay, yeah, that was not as funny as I thought that was when it was blinded there, but that was great stuff. Map one goes to Apollo. I don't know if we're having any breaks. Let's go, Fien. Okay, it's map one to Phoenix. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be any breaks, but stick around. And we might be getting right back into the game, into the action. Of course, I'm going to have to check what map we are playing. Okay, Kane. Uh, one of the other teams have been claiming to be getting a uh, beard. That was insane. Of course, it's competitive, so it 
most likely isn't that. There must be, well, maybe someone in, maybe someone's friend from the opposition team might be doing so and so. I need to get these maps up and obviously people are typing in chat and it's getting very distracting with what map we're going to now. Um... Theme park. Okay. Uh, team starting match as attackers. Um, first team on attack during overtime. It will be orange team. Okay, we're just, uh, I'm just seeing everyone's ready. I think everyone's getting a little cup of tea, maybe. We're we'll on a little break. Uh, get drink yourself, guys. Oh, everyone wants to start. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was a bit buggy there. So the Montane band coming out again. And the Thatcher band now bringing out a different band from from Athena. Got my teams right now. Uh, it's probably something I don't know about this Monty band that's coming out. Maybe someone in Apollo mains Monty. I can actually get up some stats of the players. Tell you guys if you have interested yourselves. Oh, I should get the leaderboard out. That's my bad, guys. <laughs> 
Is an ace coming out? No surprise there, to be fair, with the amount of stuff he brings out to the table, which is brilliant. It's the best gun in the game. Does hard breaching, has smokes. It's just, uh, it's like a no brainer bringing that guy, isn't it? He's a two speed. Uh. So, Barna taking the diffuser here, and it's going to be an armory and throne hold here from. From Apollo. Uh, the server is being a bit. Low. But we. Uh, Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. We make our way into the first round on Theme Park with Apollo defending and Athena attacking. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. Okay, so they're doing. Uh, Obviously reinforcing all of these walls here, which obviously are essential. Uh, the main, these are the, kind of the main two walls that get opened. I, I personally prefer this. It's the main wall to get open. Ten these two to go. C4s over here. Choke points. There's too many choke Five points going left. on around. They're doing a nice sight hold upstairs. We're seeing... Um, What's going to be coming of that? Any second? Yep, there. there we go. Initiation is being held by the mozzie there. The Jaeger cash, perhaps? Yep. Oh, there we go. Maybe even. Oh, they are putting ADSs up here. They're doing a big hold up here. Not going to be holding any vertical angles as of such. Of course, they don't even want to be giving this wall of the way, and you can't get verticals up here. Pressuring Nat, and he's got the first pick onto the Saphir there. Obviously, one of the fraggers has been getting killed by another fragger. The Mozzie is killing people as well. The ace, their hard creature is gone. One of them, anyway. This is a great start to a great round here from the Jaeger and the Mozzie, who has been pressuring. I don't think they know the Yang has been pushing up into our waiting room here. The Ye oh, the Jaeger is very aware now, and he's been picking up with the 81 bullets being pushed out there. She's not going to be any getting any kills as of yet, but she's getting pinched. Ooh, ah, the Mozzie getting a pick there. Great, the Jaeger has been downed, I think. Great pick there from near Barna has obviously been picking. The Mozzie's been dead. Been killed there from the Nomad as well. They have been fighting back. The bandit's just going to sit and hold this angle here, which he might get pre-fired in that corner. He does, and he's been killed. The Urbana just needs to wipe off her hoof. She is on fire today. There's a 2v2. They have vertical going. They're going to get hatch open just in case. They're going to be getting that. You can of course get the bandits now from the breach and top yellow. They can make an entryway, which is getting hold by fireplace from Legion, which is obviously they're going to have to be fishing out. Who's going to have flashbangs on the front? This is two massive crossfire choke points that are going to be here. You're going to be getting a refrag, most likely from either person. If one of these two dies, the mute or the Legion. So we'll be seeing maybe a long angle being over peaked by the mute might be a crucial mistake. If that's what he's going to be doing, he might just be being passive. We will be seeing the impact tricks coming out for the Legion, which made a bit of an effect of the one pellet. The pre-fire, it's, it's not going to happen. <laughs> the mute with the one tap onto the Nomad. And it's not looking good for the Urbana. Of course, if she can Ten get this pick, remaining. she might get a kill, but the... The great control from the mute there onto the SMG 11, getting him two picks onto that one wounder. Great stuff, obviously, burst firing is the most effective way of using that SMG without looking like a donut spraying everywhere. Of course, when you're close range, spray willy nilly, you're not going to get affected by that recoil. The SMG 11 is notorious for its one taps. It's just pure filth. They've obviously taken the ACOG out, so it's not as filthy as it has been in earlier years. But it's still 
still a thing to behold. It is the most powerful gun in the game. Damage per second. Obviously, without the control, the Aces, Aces gun is more effective with that control because you don't have to burst fire it, so you're not missing out a few bullets there. Of course, you get an ACOG with Ashes, uh, Aces gun as well, but it's going to be a bunk daycare hold. I think that they have made a rule about planting downstairs because, of course, you can destroy that thing on top of the barrels. Bomb located by attackers. Not gonna be able to go downstairs. I'm not really sure what the is, but if someone goes downstairs, I will show you guys what I am talking about. But they're gonna be making it not an extended hold, they are gonna be holding it though. It's not a rotation, so obviously, is a drop back point, and obviously, they can be playing without much on their shoulders just in case they lose it, they won't be giving up and rotation into the side straight away. It's gonna be a the attacker's bomb diffuser has been dropped. A little cheeky spawn. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. Obviously, obviously, no one has actually spawned there. They're going for a cafe take, it looks like, which uh, C4 is below. It might be encouraged if they win this round. I was going to show you that now. That's good stuff. This barrel here, you can destroy that. You can glitch your way up in the head. You can glitch your way up to this ball. Sometimes you fall off, and sometimes you stay up, and you can plan on now. <laughs> the Amaru coming in here with the hatch. I think she should be allowed to do it. She obviously can. And I just don't play her enough, but she is in. She is in. Is anyone aware? The bandits are aware, and she does not get a pick, but they're rushing. And this affair has got another pick. And the Numa, everyone, this has not gone the plan, but they are obviously getting another pick. And what's going on here? <laughs> it is a 1v1. It is a 1v1. The Muzzy, I don't know if the Obana, she does have the Fuser. This has been a very quick round. <laughs> a triple kill. This could be a, a 1v1. Crossfire, she has a drone. This could be very effective. She does need to start baiting the plant soon. There's obviously 90 seconds left. There's plenty of the round left for her to work with, for them both to work with. But obviously Muzzy is going to be playing that more passive as he is defending. But I do... Yep, there we go, she has got the drone, she's gonna be aware. She has flash, she has not got any utility, but he is taking his sight. He's gonna be pre firing that. A bit of damage done to her, Biana. See, boys, White, of course. Their partner has a 1.5 scope, she's gonna be able to hold angles a lot better, but she is very aggressive here. As he's falling back, he's taking it back. I not even sure if he knows she's here. Doesn't know. This is a bit of rings around the rosy here. She kind of missed her opportunity with that bang on the on the diffuser. She's one HP now. This is ever so slightly looking towards Mozzie's favour, as he is doing very well. To keep the time being wasted. She needs to start baiting that diffuser. She is not going to be happy when he. When she gets to the last 10 seconds, has to start sticking it. She is going to be pre fire. She is now doing damage back, though, as the Moss is. Well, pre fire. 15 seconds left. Oh, the Apollo wins it! What a clutch! The 4K coming up with the Apollo. This guy is a god with what he's doing. Jesus Christ. Kills and two rounds for the Abana. This is exactly like the play that we would see from from Bolo, no, even Bolo Shiko, just kicking off, just showing the dominance of that Abana's gun, showing the dominance of the player. In fact, with the amount of control he's got on that controller, I'm not really sure if he's got an elite controller. But either way, that is. Amazing stuff coming from here, Barna. It's a bunk and daycare. I don't know if anyone else saw that Jaeger and the. Uh, I'm not overly sure what offer it was with. I might be in the jackal. Happened <laughs> there. Nothing can they're on the scene. To locate and as many bombs as they <laughs> but here, Barna just clutching up and just killing him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
So it's going to be the same <laughs> as they did actually lose this. Attackers have located they didn't even do it. They did do a, a cafe rush as it was in the windows in the break room. I don't think they'll be doing that again as they have not put the Amaru up to be always a distraction as they do hot breach into these. I don't think they hot breach to be fair, I think they just double punched. <sighs> Maybe a C4, he's not downstairs. The Mozzie's going for the same Five spawn peak. Remaining. We'll be seeing if anyone is spawning over here. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. It's wasting his time. That's unfortunate for the Mozzie. Of course, all spawning here, which is very helpful. You cannot get spawn peaked over there. You can get killed from that window there. Of course, it's a horrible window to be peeking out of. I mean, probably just get pre fired. I'm pretty sure most people pre fire that window now when they spawn at the first wheel. A skin the hatch. <laughs> of course, they know what they need to be doing, so you can just be doing that, it's not wasting much. They're draining that cafe hard here, they are not taking a rush, they're probably going to go for a default plant behind this little counter here, which of course is a very good good place to be planting, but you do need control of this hallways, and Sophia seems to be pushing up yellow to get control of this hallway. She's been very patient as well with her walking. She's taking her time as Nomad, <coughs> Nomad is now taking control of Arcade. Anyone else going to be rotating there? They are playing as a team. Very, very good. The pre-fire through the window getting yellow pinged. No idea. That was a what a pick. The, the, the suppression, the sound lag going on here. But of course, they don't know what's going on as they're just getting their team picked off. Oh, no idea, a, a 3k from the, from the Sapphire as it comes to a 4v2, a 4v1 with the Mozzie! Is he gonna, is he gonna get a pick? No he isn't, the Nomad is gonna clap him into his face and set down that air jab just for a little bit of a celebration there. As it goes to a 2-1 to Athena. So an arm room, throne room. Hold, oh, everyone's wanting teacups again. Main entrance, the vigils can be played. They're gonna be obviously relying on that vertical hold that they they lost last time, which obviously the Abana and the, the Nomad were obviously getting those kills upstairs. They did clear up that floor, but obviously Cobra just outstanding performance so far with seven kills. A only one death every time he dies it seems like the round Defenders, dies. protect your bombs from being defused by attackers we will see if anyone else on Apollo pick, uh, on Athena picks themselves up and decides that they are in fact just as much as the fragger is Cobra of course that's that's what you would want to be doing seeing for the Sapphire who is obviously a fragger so it's not going to be much of a hold here, just uh, I think the same as last time. Same reinforcements, bringing out a Malusi this time instead of a Legion. Of course, another entry to lie with Intel as well, just left. like the Legion, but obviously it does not stop planting like the Legion does late in round. It's Attackers just in case, out in those last five seconds, you cannot get that Legion spike out of your foot. It's just the only... Only horrible thing about playing against the Legion is that when you're rushing into sight, you need to get a plant down. And it's just, especially when you have control of sight and you can't even do anything about it because you have a Legion in your foot. <laughs> can't even drop it. Can't even do anything. Some explosion Just taking sight very quick. The Zephyr, I didn't even know what I was talking about. When I said she needs to be stepping up, she's been clapping cheeks as well. Getting a 3k last round. Getting the first pick this round onto the Jaeger. And now Vigil is left on his own. Yep, he has fallen back. He's just going to give him vertical, I assume. 
and try and get some picks, try and control the outskirts of sight, put some pressure onto that wall they'll be getting, which I'm assuming they're putting onto yellow wall. Bandit is flanking up. Bandit. Bandit's got a free pick there. No, the refrag is missed by the Habana. One in that kill. He wants his mate to be refragged. The Abana has been fragged. We will be seeing if the Abana's death is a crucial point. I mean, it is a 4v2. Don't want to be making too many... Too many statements here. But it's a fair no. It's getting killed by the Vigil and it's looking like... <laughs> a round for Apollo. As it is a 4v1, Ace does have a very insane gun. He has more capable of doing this. It depends, though, if the defense are going to be all willy-nilly with their lives running up and down and trying to frag him out. But obviously, they're not being greedy. They're actually holding positions here. Teaming. Teaming for refrags is what they're doing. And it's... it's it's great stuff. If they do have the hatch, he could just drop hatch here and take side, but obviously he does not have any intel on actually being able to do that. He's getting hold in the crossfire as well now. It's a lost opportunity. He might have got a pick there. He is just narrowly in in the zone to get his teabag as well. <laughs> I think he's gonna have to be playing here and there's just too much coming from the defense. Not much hope for this ace. And it is going to be aware that he's pushing for the bathroom. Is if the vigil pinches him in here as well, the band is aware. He's going to swing that. <laughs> he got killed, of course, the best gun in the game. Five seconds left. He gets a pick. He gets two. He does not get two out of there. He only gets the one. Of course, the vigil showing up playing. <laughs> a hip fire. Two two as we go into just over halfway of the defenders round it is the number the fifth round here and bringing out the pulse they are going bunk we'll be seeing because they have been pushing from downstairs as a fear and pushing up yellow we'll be seeing what is going to be happening that he is a six picking it anyway so it might just be a free entrance for the fear which you would want to be challenging that entrance especially when she is picking you off and yellow stealth up there but obviously the lesion will just be giving you intel uh, hopefully we'll be seeing him putting a spike onto that yellow stairs so everyone Attackers will be aware locate and defuse bombs. what is going on there and we'll we'll see what will be happening if anyone gets picked from it we'll see So no rotates going out again. I think they're keeping it box standard with the holds they're doing. So one reinforcement going ahead of them. Are they making a rotate? They are. They are actually extending into office. Ten seconds remaining. Maybe an ADS going in. Yep, ADS top yellow. Five Probably an ADS in here and maybe an ADS in there. They're not worrying about these sites here because they are focusing on them taking that. But of course, they have been taking cafe. The majority of the time, but they, they've actually they've prepped. They this is great IGL Elling from whoever's the IGL. Maybe it's just a team player, but they they are getting exactly what's right here with what they're doing. This is very smart IGL that's going on here. He knows when when to change the hold, the strats. The, oh, just fit the fear with the game, isn't it? I guess he is falling back. He's given them that. He's he's ready. Wasted their time. Pretty much done. He's even got to reinforce it. You know, he's, he doesn't. Even, he's gonna he's gonna bait the reinforcement to get that train. <laughs> no, they're both gone. I don't know how that second. Oh, he must have just gone off it. Very slow take. Obviously, only two minutes left. Like you. 
Turkey with the G8, no doubt, angled grip as well, no doubt, of course. This is one deadly weapon. She has that legendary skin I actually have as well. It is sexy, it's like mossy. Disappear with the first pick again. I I am being told that I am <laughs> I have no I have nothing to say. Literally, she just just proved me wrong with what I said in the first round. It's <laughs> popping off. She might begin a second pick. It's quick, quick running there from the Ying up. She's going back on the angle. She's holding on to a pixel angle. Of course she has. She does have rotate control. Just missed ever so slightly. And the Jaeger has proven his dominance with that 416. What a pick that was. The game audio has.